This is Priyanka Sinha from Carriers Catalyst. Today, in this video, we will talk about transportation in human being. As in previous video, we already discussed about transportation in plant. If we compare our transportation system with respect to plant, then obviously we are quite complicated in transportation system. We have a complex transportation system because of that we are able to transport very fast a material from one part of our body to remaining parts. Transportation is what? It is basically a substance absorbed or synthesized in one part of the body will get translocated to remaining part of the body. So in human being also, transportation is what? Just the material need to be transported from one part of the body to remaining part of the body. To do that, we have a well-developed circulatory system. By using this circulatory system, we are able to transport material from one part of our body to remaining parts. Our transportory system is composed of heart, arteries, veins, and blood capillaries. Obviously, blood play very important role here because we know blood is a fluid connective tissue which is present in our body. It always conduct material from one part of the body to remaining part very easily because of its liquid medium. In this video, particularly we are going to discuss about blood only. So what are the components of blood? The components of blood are plasma and blood cell. At first, I just want to explain you some interesting fact about blood. In our body, if we talk about an adult person, then we have approximately 5 liter to 5.5 liter of blood. Okay, and you know, what is the speed of this blood when it travels inside our body? It is approximately 70 to 80 kilometer per hour. It's a very high speed. By using this speed only, blood travels inside our body in a blood capillaries or in our vascular system. Okay, and... This 5 to 5.5 liter of blood obviously will have some weight also. So, our body ka jo weight hai, uska 7 to 8 percent weight is only because of what? Blood. So, our body ka jo bhi weight hai, whatever be the weight of your body, it's 7 to 8 percent weight is only because of the blood which is present inside your body. In this particular 5 liter of blood, approximately 3 liter of blood is what? plasma. It is just a pale yellow color liquid and the remaining of uh, 2 or 2.5 liter blood will be your blood cells. That means the cellular portion is what? 2 or 2.5 liter and 3 liter approximately is the liquid that is called what? Plasma. Okay. Now, the blood plasma. What is this blood plasma? Blood plasma is a pale colored liquid. It is not red in color. Our blood is red in color because of red blood cell. Okay. So it is just a pale colored liquid, which is mostly composed of water. And it is not only containing water along with water. It contains sugar, fat, protein, salt, these all things. Actually, blood plasma function is very complicated and also it carry out most of the substance inside our body. It transport blood cell. First, it transport what? Blood cell. And obviously, this blood cell is transported throughout the body. It also carry nutrients. It is already written here. It also carry what? Nutrients like sugar, you can say. Okay. And the waste product, the waste product is also carried out by this particular blood plasma only. And the hormones, the proteins, the hormones, the proteins, these all things is actually conducted by what? This blood plasma. So obviously, this blood plasma play very important role in our body in transportary system. Because all the substance that you can see here is transported by this liquid medium blood plasma. Now, the other portion of blood is what? Blood cell. This blood cell is of three types. That is red blood cell, white blood cell and platelets. We will talk about RBC, WBC and platelets in detail in this particular video. So let's talk about red blood cell first. 
obviously it is red in color and why it is red in color because it contain a red pigment that is known as what hemoglobin this hemoglobin plays very important role in our body because it help to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide from obviously it will it carry oxygen from the lungs to all the cell body and then the carbon dioxide from cell body to the lungs so this is the main function of rbc which is performed inside our body hemoglobin performs very important function for carrying oxygen from lungs to body tissue as it is already written here rbc are circular in shape and they do not have nuclei why they do not have nuclei that also we are going to discuss here and the origin of rbc where actually it is formed it is in our bone marrow where rbc is actually originated you know what is the life span of that rbc this rbc is actually present in our body for approximately 4 months or you can say 120 days it can survive in our body for approximately 120 to 140 days this is the structure of rbc as you can see in figure rbc this structure at first large surface area why large surface area because it does not containing nucleus and because of that it will have more space to carry oxygen it contain hemoglobin obviously which picks what oxygen and function ki baat kare so by the main unique function is performed by rbc is what it carry oxygen from the lungs to the body and carbon dioxide from the body to the lungs so this is the main important function of rbc which actually done inside our body as you can see in this diagram rbc this is what oxygen which actually it will carry from lungs and after that it will be oxygen rich rbc now this oxygen rich rbc reaches to each and every cell of our body and then it releases that oxygen to the cell body so this is the main function which rbc perform inside our body now we will talk about white blood cell the main function white blood cell ko hum kya bolte hain soldier of our body so obviously the main function is what it actually provide immunity to our body it fight against disease it protect us from disease it all you can say okay so they fight infection and protect us from disease some white blood cell manufacture antibodies also we need sometime antibodies for the prevention of disease so this wbc help to create or manufacture antibodies inside our body which actually responsible for providing immunity in our body we can fight against a particular disease by creating antibodies inside our body so wbc is spherical or irregular in shape and they have nucleus jaise rb ke paas rbc ke paas nucleus nahi hota then wbc contain what nucleus they are also called what soldier of our body ye hame pehle se hi pata hai bachpan se hum log seekhte aa rahe wbc is also defined as what soldier of our body due to wbc we are protected from disease and infection obviously hame koi disease na ho koi infection na ho uske liye hamare body mein kya present hai wbc it act as a protecting cell inside our body the origin of wbc also it is manufactured inside the bone marrow and if we talk about the life span then it's quite variable because hamare body mein different different type of wbc are present so the life span of wbc is few of them lives for 10 hour and few of them lives for decades also okay so it depends on what uh, which type of wbc we are talking about so iske hisab se unka jo life span hai wo decide hota hai let me show you one uh, this is the structure in which you can see what wbc these are what white blood cell as you can see here now in this particular chart this is not for examination point of view because hum inke types nahi padhne but it's okay as you can see here it its function ek to immunity provide karta hai ye defend karta hai parasites se inflammatory response antibodies creation these all function they perform antibodies create production is very important this is a memory cell because ye hamare body mein saalon tak rehte hain that's why a particular disease Which enter inside your body. अगर वो immediately आपको वो disease enter करती है आपके body में तो obviously it will not provide any effect to your body. Why? Because our WBC remember that particular disease and it can fight against that by creating uh, antibodies in our body. 
that's why so these are the components or these are the types of wbc you can see here no need to learn again i'm saying you this is just ki maine aapko bataya these are the types of wbc which is present in our body now we will talk about platelets they are tiny fragment of special cell it helps in the coagulation of blood this is very important the coagulation of blood jab bhi hame koi cut or wound hota hai so this coagulation of blood is very important otherwise the injured part jo hai wahan se blood can remove outside the body and obviously agar excess blood removal hoga to we can die even so obviously it play very important role in our body blood platelets because it coagulate the blood okay blood coagulation or you can say it thickens our blood also so platelets do not have also nuclei the origin of platelet is what bone marrow blood coagulation is a defense mechanism which is very important here it acts as a defense mechanism because of that it prevent excess loss of blood in case of injury jab bhi aapko koi injury hoti hai then obviously jo excess loss of blood hai that can be prevented by using this defense mechanism let me show you the diagram in which we will talk about what is this defense mechanism as you can see here these are the platelets okay now how this act how this perform as a defense mechanism that we are going to discuss let's suppose you have some injury so obviously it is a opening pore so all the blood can all the cell body cells blood cells can come out right okay now what happen this particular platelets will make a fibrous structure a net like structure here this fibrous structure is basically defined as fibrin it help to clot or simply not to remove all the cells outside the body and obviously it will just clot here because of that the remaining cell will be prevented so this is the defense mechanism system because of that platelets help to excess loss of blood okay so here we completed about all the types of uh, blood cells and uh, if we talk about the life span then it is approximately of 10 days in our body so it can sustain for 10 days in our body here in this video we discussed about the blood and the types of blood cell in next video we will talk about blood vascular system okay now what is the function of blood actually jo bhi function humne rbc wbc aur platelets ke padhe that is only the function which is performed by blood so what function blood perform transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide transport of nutrients transport of excretory products regulation of body temperature transport of hormones transport of uh, water balance and uh, protection from disease and obviously clotting of blood so these are the function of blood which actually performed by wbc rbc and platelets even though by plasma also in our body okay so this video is completed here in next video we will talk about what blood vascular system so thank you for watching this video